situations where everyone around you, that was really close to you, said don't do it, but you did it anyways, and then you found out they saw something you didn't. Speak up. This is what that's about. I'm speaking. This poem's called Refusal. Don't do it, they told me. Don't do it, they begged. I was set in my ways and today I will make my own mistakes. Refusing to listen as if the voices of those who love me never matter. Live or die, because if I do this, I may not be alive. It's a risk I was willing to take. Shattering hearts break. Worrying about my well-being, each day they pray to hear from me. But that call, a wife rarely made. I was busy, too busy for family. Living on the streets, befriending vultures that could see my need since my desperation reeked. They picked at the weak feeding as I fled since it could be easily read and I felt alone. It was my choice, I know. So I tried to cover it up with a fake persona, a drug dealer. Come buy your weed, I got it, and I got it for cheap. All because I needed money. Jeopardizing my life over pride. My parents claimed I needed therapy. They were wrong and I knew it dead on. I was a typical teen. Convinced they didn't know. Convinced they didn't understand. So I left and took to the streets, poor and hungry, with no place to sleep. Opening my eyes to the reality of life. And now that it's over, I can look back to those years of my past. Shamefully, I have to admit, they were right. They saw what I couldn't, understanding the situations I lived through since they too went through it. When I thought I was alone making my own choices, I never realized I was destroying others' lives, affecting those around me I did not see. I was blind. I saw what I desired. Fueling that fire was independence. A young man making a rebellious stand, now understanding the value of how lucky I am to be alive, to share my experiences, so others can learn from the mistakes I've made with high hopes that you'll listen. Because guess what? I did it. Thank you. Woo!